And we're back. Human Nuggets here with some more Modern Warfare 2 content for you today. We've got the cast off 74. You finished out to a thousand kills, so we can go ahead and chuck the charm on for that one. Uh, here's what I would recommend as the loadout you use from uh, the one that I developed. We got the KSTV RPK Factory tuned into ADS uh, speed and aiming idle stability. The True Tech Grip tuned in for sprint to fire and ADS speed. The second Shred 40 muzzle attachment tuned in for gun kick control and recoil stabilization. Uh, the SA Ultra 3 tuned in for ADS speed and recoil steadiness. And the FSS LV Laser. That being said, the build that I was running most of the time was actually completely different. It's more of a, a piss take build because I, I don't like this gun. Everyone else seems to love it, but I hate this gun. So this build is literally just as balls to the wall as you can make it fast. Uh, we got the VLK stockless, the True Tech grip again with the same tuning, 20 round mags, same barrel, same tuning there, and the same laser. This has atrocious recoil. Um, but it's what I used most of the time. I found it more enjoyable than the actual build. I did still spend time like properly planning out this build. I didn't just chuck random attachments on. Um, this one performs a lot more consistently, but this one is way faster and just stupid. Like it's got bad recoil and even worse visual recoil. Like your gun will bounce all over the place. But yeah, everyone else's opinion of this gun seems to be that it's just like fuck off. I even just spawned into the fucking match. Uh, it seems to be most people's uh, like one of their favorite guns, and I can see why to an extent. Like it's a decent gun. But I do feel like it gets too much hype. Even, like, I've got the, the Pierce Stake build on at the moment. But even using an actual build, I just was more frustrated by it than anything. During the camera grind, it is an atrocious gun for long shots. Um, it's one of the ones that took me the longest to get uh, platinum because of that. And I was just, yeah. All round. Hated using it. When you're playing super aggressive with it, um, it's not too bad. It's actually got one of my uh, highest uh, kill gameplays with it. Uh, with the piss take build, I almost beat my uh, 79 kills in one match record. I got 78. And it would have been more uh, actual gun kills than this. Uh, this time because I got a lot less kill streaks, um, so it wasn't. It was a 78 kill game that had a pretty shitty KD ratio. Fuck! I hate spawning mid match. Like, if you quit out of a match and you're trying to rejoin one, it makes sense. But just fucking, I just started up the game. And my first match is halfway over, and it's just, it's not an enjoyable experience. If you are going to use the faster build, uh, it's pretty much just throw caution to the wind, try and get kills, and more just pray that you don't get killed first. Um, it's not an effective strategy if you want to be doing actually well. Uh, whereas the other build is just kind of like a fast assault rifle. Um, so, you know, play aggressively but cautiously at the same time, in that kind of sense. Fuck off, just let me play. Even with a more accurate build, the gun still, uh, pretty much sucks at long run. Fuck off. I feel bad for that guy. But he was gonna kill me if I didn't kill him. He had a shotgun. Um, yeah. But even with a more accurate build, gun sucks at long range. Like, even just, you take it into the firing range, and trying to shoot the far away target there, you'll have like a 50% accuracy at best. Just because it has so much recoil. After getting shit on last match, this lobby is easy as fuck in comparison. 
But I guess that's what they intended with the system. Uh, now I, I, for the most part, I don't mind the matchmaking system. It gets annoying at times, but I understand where it's coming from. But the gun, it's, uh, it's very much a close quarters weapon. Uh, you know, with this stupid build, it struggles even in mid-range. Uh, but it's not meant to do that. It's, I wouldn't use it on any map other than shipment, pretty much. Fuck off. Uh, fu the funniest shit. Or at least to me, one of the funniest things uh, people do is pretend to have like a really high average KD. And it's like, yeah. If you're in a lobby with me, you do not have a 5.2 average KD. That's the example I'm using because there was some guy trying to pass it off uh, like that earlier today, specifically. And it's just, yeah, with my. 1.01 KD. I'm not getting into matches with people with 5 KDs. That's just not how it works. And then, like, they'll finish the match with, like, a roughly 1 KD or lower, and it's like, yeah, that's what you'd expect. If you can get in the right situation with this gun, it is very competitive um so like i can see why people do like it but it, in my opinion it's just nowhere near versatile enough to actually consider it a good gun um and that's kind of all the feedback i have on it so uh yeah i'd give it a pretty low rating out of 10 don't know exactly what number fuck off we'll leave it there for today I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next one.